A cordial greeting. Today is Sunday, September 14, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video I'll be talking about the tropical wave we continue to monitor in the Atlantic, which now has a high probability of cyclonic development as it moves west-northwest over the next seven days. It is possible that this tropical wave will be designated as Invest 92, and if it manages to become a tropical storm it would be named Tropical Storm Gabriel. And while this system continues to organize, the Atlantic remains quiet and we haven't seen the development of a tropical cyclone for weeks, something totally unusual for the month of September, which is considered the peak of the season. As we've discussed in past videos, this is mainly due to the fact that the tropical Atlantic has been dominated by dry and stable air in recent weeks. However, little by little conditions may turn more favorable for cyclonic development, and it's possible that after this tropical wave we'll see other disturbances with chances of development in the tropical Atlantic, and possibly also in the Western Caribbean and the Southern Gulf of Mexico. So, in the first part of the video I'll talk about this tropical wave, and at the end of the video we'll discuss other areas we'll be monitoring for the end of September. If we zoom into the infrared satellite animation of the tropical wave we're watching, we can see that it still looks quite disorganized. However, it is generating considerable convection over the wave axis and, in fact, at this moment it looks healthier than what we saw with Invest 91, which failed to develop last week. Also, on satellite imagery we can identify a rather broad circulation associated with this tropical wave, and typically this type of structure takes time to consolidate a defined center and become a tropical cyclone. This is precisely why the National Hurricane Center still maintains only a 10% probability of development over the next 48 hours. It is not until later this week that it is expected to achieve enough organization to be classified as a tropical cyclone. Notice that the area of possible development for now remains east and northeast of the Caribbean. So the good news is that it seems this future cyclone will remain over the Atlantic waters and, for now, does not represent a threat to the Eastern Caribbean. Apart from the broad circulation associated with the tropical wave, the system's slow development is also due to the dry and stable air still present in the tropical Atlantic, which would somewhat limit the development and strengthening of this tropical wave. Everything seems to indicate that not until it reaches the subtropical Atlantic will it find favorable conditions to perhaps strengthen into a hurricane. And if we analyze different track scenarios shown by the ensemble members of the European model, although initially there is considerable uncertainty about where that circulation center might consolidate, eventually all the members show a west-northwest track, passing far from the Caribbean region. In fact, here we can see, represented by the yellow and orange colors, that a stronger system would take a more northward track, while if it stays weaker it could travel farther west. Even so, the members with a very weak system still pass it northeast of the Caribbean. We see the same thing with the ensemble members of the American model, which initially takes more time to develop this tropical wave, but eventually turns it northwest, passing far from the Caribbean region. The members that keep it weaker show a track farther west, but still hundreds of miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. And the ensemble members of Google's AI model also show that west-to-west-northwest track. So for now, unless there are significant changes, we are confident that it will not pose a direct threat to the Caribbean. In fact, the operational global models agree with these projections. For example, here we have the latest projection of the American model. In about seven days it has the future cyclone passing far from the Caribbean. Meanwhile, the European model, although with a much farther west track, still shows the circulation center passing about 300 or 400 miles from the Lesser Antilles. The German model also has a track well to the north, gaining latitude quickly during midweek. And the model with the farthest west track is the European AI model but it too shows the system passing over 300 miles northeast of the Caribbean. Additionally, notice that the European AI model also shows that by the end of September we will have other strong tropical waves emerging from Africa, which we'll need to monitor as conditions may turn more favorable for cyclonic development thanks to the arrival of a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation, which is associated with instability and rainfall, and will move through the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic by the end of September. In fact, it seems the Madden-Julian Oscillation will be in a phase that is typically favorable for cyclone formation in the Atlantic from late September through mid-October. For example, the Google AI model has the tropical wave we're monitoring passing northeast of the Caribbean, but some members also show other tropical waves with some potential for cyclonic development in 7 to 10 days. And not only in the tropical Atlantic, the arrival of this Madden-Julian Oscillation phase may also promote the development of a broad circulation over Central America, known as the Central American Gyre, which could establish itself over the region by late September. For instance, the model shows the development of some low-pressure systems in the Eastern Pacific and the Western Caribbean. So this will definitely be another area we'll be monitoring in 7 to 10 days in case a low-pressure system develops. Well, that's it for the tropical update. 
The important thing is that for now there is no direct threat to land areas, so we can stay calm but vigilant to any tropical wave that emerges from Africa. And before I go, I wanted to ask you to please give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you get notifications when I record new videos. I hope you all have an excellent Sunday. See you later.